I will use the PowerShell script that uh, this is the file which we have and I'll put it into a folder and then zip it and this zip file I'm going to actually upload to my storage account under container by creating here a scripts folder and then simply upload the content. Uh, this one I wanted as a blob anonymous read so that I can actually upload and I can read it from anywhere. In normal way, uh, as we talked in the blobs lecture, we talked about private. When we go with the private, it will be required your SAS access keys and other things. But since it's a lab, actually, I'm trying to upload with anonymous also uh, with a blob and create. So this will create a container called scripts. Inside this, I'm going to upload a fo folder called IES-DSC. Uh, this was got already zipped. So I need to zip uh, and then upload it. So what would happen is that zip fill contains your PowerShell script. So in the back end, in the back end of Microsoft, uh, what it does is actually, yeah, in the back end, it's going to be uh, compiled uh, within, the, uh, within the virtual machine to a MOV format. MOF and then it's gonna execute whatever the script is uh, doing. So if the script is trying to do the IS installation, it's gonna actually install that. So that's what uh, the uh, idea. So these steps will be MOF compile, all other things will be taken care by Microsoft Azure. You no need to worry, but all you have to do is you have to upload in a zip format and later point, take that URL and uh, this is a url so since i made it as anonymous over the blob so i'm just copying this and keeping it into the memory as it is for now and the later point i would be actually going back to my virtual machine so in this case i have a virtual machine uh, which is this is a virtual machine so i'll just start it and in the back end what i'm going to do is actually we'll go back to extensions as we talked earlier within this extension so i'm going to add dsc this is a powershell desired state configuration dsc and for the dsc what happens is when you uh, go ahead and create it's actually going to install the agent as well as it's going to ask you hey what's a mod module that you wanted to uh, execute with the help of dsc on that specific virtual machine let's say um, if you have already uploaded you can actually show that so the uploaded uh, file can be shown uh, from the storage account so in my case i have this the storage account uh, the scripts and make sure that the zip file whatever you have you can actually give that now as a next step what i can do is i can simply give the version of your dsc what whatever is gonna execute so I'm going to give as the 1.0 if there is any uh, upgrade options and for the module name what you will be doing is here you'll be giving the the script which is inside your zip file and the module that you wanted to execute let's say uh, if if I open my script I have given this as the module name so this name I should be able to give so why we have to give this is this code it's going to be executed let's say you might have another uh, module which talks about file server or maybe some other configuration that you might have to give that name so in my case this is the one which i wanted to give it so i'll just give here the name and also we can if at all we wanted we can use a psd1 which is a compiled uh, format uh, or the dc format and the uh, version it's going to you know compile in the back end with the uh, wmf uh, latest version it's going to use and this is a version that we need to give like 2.8.0 2.8.0 is the latest so that you can give that value here uh, this is basically uh, for the dsc's extensions uh, version so you can give that version but in my case i'm just giving as 1.0 the reason being Anyway, it's going to be test. I'm not going to continue further, but you can give us a 2.80 and click OK. So that would actually create the custom extension for us with the help of the uh, script. So this is uh, this is how you can do it on a, a single machine point of view. Uh, if at all you wanted to directly add even extension along with the uh, your uh, custom files to include for monitoring for the DSC state now in the upcoming demo we are going to actually check out automation account with the help how best we can configure this DSC and 
get more benefited instead of you know configuring here one by one uh, you will have a central location of your all the configurations and from there you can monitor and you can do the configuration so let's wait for that lecture thank you